had racism in their heart. So how dare you think for a second that you and I don't have racism in our hearts, huh? We do, it's hidden in our hearts and Allah is exposing it for one sole purpose. Way of Life SQ, keeping it a hundred. Even amongst the companions, there were racism. There were racists amongst them. Why? Because racism is a trace of jahiliya. Take a look at this real incident that happened at the top of the Messenger wasallam. There was an Arab man named Abu Dar, عنه, a companion of the Messenger wasallam, And he wasn't just some Arab, he was the Arab. His lineage was so strong that he made Arabs look like non-Arabs. Like he was that strong of an Arab. And one day there was a quarrel between him and Bilal radiallahu an two of the messenger saw Salam's companions. And in this heated argument, Abu Dar called Bilal radiallahu an the son of a black woman. And that is a racial slur. That was a racial slur equivalent to the N-word or calling someone a bead in our time right now. And after the messenger saw Salam found out about this, what did Abu Dar radiallahu anhu do? Did the other companions stand up for him and say, oh messenger of Allah, this isn't from Islam. This is just our culture. This is just culture. This is in Islam, Abu Dar. No, Abu Dar owned the fact that he had jahiliya in his heart. When the messenger saw Salam heard about what Abu Dar said, he came and confronted Abu Dar radiallahu an and told him that what you just said right now only exposes the fact that you still have traces of jahiliya in your heart. And Abu Dar didn't shy away from it. He didn't say that, oh, you know, the shaitan made me do it, or, you know, this is all for my culture. Abu Dar owned and acknowledged his own biases. He owned his own racial slur. And he went up to Bilal radiallahu an, begged and grappled at his feet, telling Bilal radiallahu an to step on my face in front of everyone to put me in my place. He didn't hide from his racism. He acknowledged his racism. He acknowledged his privilege. He owned his own privilege and he acknowledged his privilege. He acknowledged the bias that he still had towards Bilal because he was a black man. So if I'm challenging you to acknowledge your own racism in your heart, it's not like, oh brother, you're saying this about Muslims, Islam is perfect, but Muslim culture isn't. It's not that. It's showing you that the companions who are better than you and me had racism in their heart. So how dare you think for a second that you and I don't have racism in our hearts, huh? We do. It's hidden in our hearts and Allah is exposing it for one sole purpose so that you can purify yourself before meeting Allah Azawajal. So take some time, become self-aware, self-reflect within your heart to find out what biases and racism do you still have in your heart? Because guess what? If the companions could have racism in their hearts, then there's no way that you and I do not have racism in our hearts.